Hey guys, this is 18-2. Welcome back to another episode of Zoo Tycoon Complete Collection. In the last parts, we beat Mountain Zoo and learned that not all polar bears are created equal. In this part, we're tackling the Tropical Rainforest Zoo. A wealthy industrialist is teaming up with the government of Costa Rica to create a new wildlife park. He is donating $50,000 to start the zoo, and Costa Rica is donating a large plot of land outside of the city of Punta Ar Arenas. I'll put the pronunciation up here. On the edge of the rainforest. His directive is is that this new zoo must have a large variety of different animal species from all over the world. In addition, the zoo must sustain a certain level of popularity with the guests who visit it. If these conditions are not met, he may well decide that his money can be better spent elsewhere. So, three years to complete, I need 17 animal species, High animal happiness, high suitability, high zoo rating, and high guest happiness. This one is going to be uh, pretty tricky. Um, the goal will be to try to get popular but non uh, animals. Also, as I normally do, get cash influx to start. Because as nice as the park is money's nicer. This guy didn't hire me because I was ethical. He hired me because I can bring in the money. I don't know why you didn't get torn down. Consider how many potential ethics violations I have had. Not like, l not literally, but how uh, little I care for much of anything. Alright, taking a quick look at the zoo, we've got an annoying river to deal with. Um, those four random pillars I'm going to have to do something with. I'll probably flatten it. Anyway. I'm going to open up with the usual stuff. Also, note, uh, we got uh, $63,324 just from tearing down all the foliage. So, step one. Purchase a restaurant. Technic and I'll eventually have another one there, as normal. There, $22. Cut, since this is going to be a hub... Uh, I'm going to want the restaurant there. I'm pretty sure I've explained that in a large portion of my videos. This is going to be too small, isn't it? And again, I could do it without the the uh, I guess cheat stuff, but um, none of dirt foliage frogs. 
Huh. Neat. It is big enough. Too much grass needs savanna grass. What was I saying? Restaurant. Lions. I should be approaching the critical mass. There we go. So, fresh water. Oh, that's the other thing I need to do. I need to do that, and I need my research and conservation going. And sand. It's really bugging me that I can't remember what I was saying. Alright. Rocks, foliage, shelter, toy. Now was right the first time. Shelter first. All right, I don't have the cat den yet. So, just have to deal with that. Rocks, foliage, toy. Also a zookeeper. They like the... Th no, they like the umbrella thorn. Yeah, they like the umbrella thorn acacia. Yay, excellence in exhibit design. I always get that uh, near, almost immediately. Do you like the termite mound? I, I always forget. Yep. Suitability of 96. Lions are taken care of. Lions are popular. Right. I have no problems. I have no qualms using the naming codes. Or the naming cheats. Because I have a life and I would like to record these in a timely manner. And starting early with all that stuff well save me a lot of headache as well uh, save me a lot of headache and well uh, I got allow me to make things in a reasonable amount of time Especially considering 36 month scenario. Um, I think I'll go baboons. More animals. It's big enough. White Bengal tigers available. Alright, so. Savannah grass and dirt. And a footpath. Hmm? I'll do that. Priorities. Priorities. Make a happy animal. Alright, fine. Tuning time. Closing in. There we go. Now, fresh water. Really? Huh. Neat. 
they don't need water. All right, rocks, foliage, shelter. All right, they like the baobab tree. I don't think monkeys have a preferred uh I don't think that I don't think monkeys have a or rather primates primates uh have a preferred shelter type at least not one I have access to now they like the baobab tree which is really really big Okay. Uh, do you like the termite mound? Primates tend to eat suitability 90. Um, that br brings it up to 91? Um, oh, but it decreases their happiness, right, right. All right, so how is the restaurant doing? Yep, already made me over $300. Ugh. So, wait, too many rocks? Okay, so the termite mound was too much rock. Oh, there we go. Much better. Suitability of 94 is as good as it's going to get. Now. What else should I make? I still have 88,000... Um, get a maintenance worker before I forget. I won't need him for a while. But I would rather... Yeah, that's not... Uh, I would rather have him now than not. Alright, next step. I have learned my lesson, and it does not automatically refund you. All right. So this area is going to be thatch themed, and since I need to keep people happy. Let's give them some benches to stare at the lions. And let's see. Let's put some tribal masks by the uh, baboons. And of course the thatched archway because I like them. Alright, so that's two. I could probably fit a small animal here. The question is, do I have a small animal who's not picky? African warthogs are normally pretty uh, forgiving. Hmm. Yeah, no, that's not quite big enough. Darn. Hmm. I could just buy the second restaurant now. Uh, there's my monthly average. 
Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I wouldn't quite make my money back yet. Wait, yes, I would. Oh, that doesn't fit? Really? Okay, I can do it that way. Whew. And... Price gouging. The key to any successful zoo is price gouging. Again, I was very clearly not hired for my ethics. Alright. 88-ish thousand... So I want a cheap animal that's not picky. Wow. And uh I always check when I hear the vomiting. I always check to see if there's a first aid stand and there never is. Um Oh, hey, in addition to the restaurants uh, feeding and watering and making me loads of money, I think if anybody has to use the bathroom, that they have to pay $23 to get in the restaurant if I don't have any bathrooms. I'm not sure if it works that way. I haven't been paying attention to my own episodes. Gray Wolf. Gray Wolf will work nicely. They do need quite a bit of space. Not big enough. Immediately after saying, the, wolf, uh, the wolves need a lot of space, I then decide to not give them a lot of space. Alright, so they need coniferous floor. Dang it, people, stop puking. Needs fresh water and deciduous. Mm -hmm. Alright, and deciduous. Uh, it will not need any rainforest floor. Too much grass, not enough deciduous. But I'm pretty sure being forest creatures, yeah, that would eventually happen. Rocks, foliage, shelter. They don't count as small animals, right? No. So they get a simple concrete shelter. Uh, what foliage do they like? They like the spruce tree. So I guess it's time to spruce up this exhibit. I'll show myself the way out. I know you're not happy. I'm building you a forest right now. So just be patient. Do you know how hard it is to build a forest? 
What, what do you mean you're ill? Where am I getting these animals that you're ill already? Wow. Wow, these, uh... Want a lot of trees. Um... And rocks. Is there a nice coniferous rock? No. Not one that they like, anyway. Congratulations, you have been given the Gold Plaque Award. Excellence in exhibit design for displaying at least one animal in a highly suitable exhibit. This award comes with a small cash bonus of $15,000. Yep. Okay, suitability of 99 Uh, they're not happy. Oh, wait. He's not happy because he's dying. Okay, he's doing better now. So their happiness should be going up. Their happiness is going down. Okay, now it's not big enough. But they should be getting happier. Nope, they are getting unhappier. Dang it, wolves. I, I chose you because you're not supposed to be picky. Alright, so they are going to want... Do you want more fresh water? Alright. Now, oh, coniferous. Mm. Now, deciduous. Oh good, the rock cave is available. I can give that to the lions, I believe. Foliage. Still... Mm. It's still not big enough. Their happiness is finally going up. Alright, there we go. I have a suitability of 100. But it's still not big enough. You know what? I don't care right now. Their happy... I'll deal with them later. I'm pretty sure they like... Cat, bear, oh, and wolf family. Uh... Um... Alright. And I guess I'll move the entrance there. Rock cave. Right, I just went over how that doesn't fit there. Or rather, I just figured out that. They're going to need two of those ultimately. Happiness of 82, suitability of 100. I'm content for now. I'll probably have to take drastic action in year three. Anyway, let's see how we're doing. Oh, average animal happiness. Oh, that makes me feel so much better. I misread it before. And 
I mean, the guest happiness is going to be a last minute thing. Zoo rating. I mean, it shouldn't be a problem of a zoo rating of 80. And I need to exhibit 17 species, and I currently have three. And I'm 25 minutes in. Um, also, I think it's time to assign you those. And... So, how's that restaurant doing? So far, averaging... Uh, making me about 1500 a month. This restaurant is currently losing me money. So, this, what's the solution to it? Make more animals. I'll keep this thatched path going. Mm. Trying to decide what animal to get next. Not the camel, as I learned from the last time I used them. Uh, American Bighorn Sheep is cheap, although they live in mountains. Could go with llamas as well. Ah, giant anteaters. I like using the giant anteaters. They don't need all that big of exhibit. I like how their sound is just sniffing. Needs dirt and rainforest floor. Oh, my gray wolves gave birth. Wait, no. No, they didn't. I forgot that I did stuff. It was a dirt and rainforest. and shelter. Well, they like the burrow. And they like the Olmo tree. There it is. Okay, there we go. So, suitability in 98, happiness of 87, uh, but it's going up. 